Rudy here, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. By the time this video is uploaded, I'm sure the ranching update will be out and in full effect. Now, I will be continuing to use this exact same base in the ranching update. I won't be starting a new base quite yet. I probably will start a new base, though, when the next update comes out, which I guess is going to be ranching part two. But for now, I'll probably go into debug mode to add some of the new geysers and volcanoes around in the map, which should be pretty interesting. I definitely want to try out new geysers, so I'll have to try and put them around in a reasonable distribution. And I've never used the debug mode before, so I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of havoc I can cause with that. And here's FDR. Hi, FDR. So, let's put this on slow mode while I talk. Also, with the ranching update, we're getting the ability to, uh, you know, herd creatures, get eggs, and make omelets. Now, as much as I love omelets and eggs, you know, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, perhaps, I'm much more looking forward to the volcanoes and new types of geysers. Like, uh, of course, we have this geyser here in the current occupational update, but this steam geyser always just produces, like, a flat four kilograms of water per second. I'm not sure where it says that, but that's what it does. I mean, not not constantly, like it comes out in bursts. But on average, it turns out to be four kilograms of water per second. Anyway, but with the ranch update, the new geysers are going to be much more variable. They're going to have cycles of dormancy and activity. So maybe the geyser will spew out liquids for 20 cycles and be dormant for 50 cycles. And that should be interesting. It'll, it'll add a bit of uh, randomness to your base, you know. Maybe you'll get unexpected water shortages if you're not paying attention to your geysers. And of course, it'll be the same type of thing with the natural gas geyser, which I've not yet found one. And then, of course, there'll be the ever awesome volcano, which will spew out liquid metals, like liquid iron, liquid gold. That should be pretty awesome. But that is for another time. Today, we're going to be focusing on our oil well. There's a lot of things we can do to make this oil well much more effective and efficient. Well, let's see, the first thing I want to do, because it's bothering me, is make some mesh tiles there. So, of course, it's pointless to have this pump pumping out the water, or the oil. Because, you know, it's only pumping out packets of, uh, you know, 2,000 grams, 4,000 grams, you know, which should be, it's just a waste of energy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, we'll, we'll use automation, of course, automation to the rescue. Put a hydro sensor in here. Let's see, let's get that automation wire. Yeah, we got so much refined iron now. We got nine tons of refined iron. And let's increase the speed. Oh, how come Lindsay's got... All right. So that should be done soon. Uh, oh, one thing I've done, I've never... I'd have kept this a secret until now, but I've made some exosuit engineers. And uh, exosuit engineers, of course, require, or they prefer, plus three food. But we're, we're only giving them plus one food in the form of our mushrooms and our fried mushrooms and uh, berries. But, you know, my stress isn't really... My stress is just fine giving them the plus one food. You know, they they may, maybe they don't care too much about the food, but they got our great massage recreation room and we got all the decor, so it works out pretty well. Okay, so they hooked up the automation. So what we want to do is we only want to activate the pump if, let's say, the pressure is above 500 kilograms. Yeah. Oh, why is that? That should be 500. Enter. Okay, great. So that, that'll prevent the pump from... The pump will only activate if it's in a lot of liquid. So then it'll definitely be pumping, you know, 10 kilogram packets of liquid instead of drawing up these... Trying to draw up these puddles, wasting all its energy, trying to suck up these puddles of energy. Trying to suck up these puddles of oil. All right, so the next step is, of course, we want to take advantage of this natural gas. Let's uh, dig out an area. All good projects start off with some digging. Let's see, let's go up here. Make it nice and symmetrical. Get our ladders up in there. So yeah, we'll, we'll make our gas pump up here. The ventilation gas pump, we'll make it out of gold amalgam, just so it doesn't get too hot. Where's our gas pipes? And I guess we can make the gas pipes out of abyssalite because the natural gas, I presume, is very warm. And that'll be our output pipe.
All right, let's get some automation in here. We want an Atmo sensor, of course. Get some automation wire. So yeah, uh, we'll only activate the pump if there's more than 500 grams of pressure in here, which I don't think will be an issue. Or yeah, above, we'll say above, let's say above 1000 grams because we want to keep a good amount of gas, gas pressure in here to act sort of as a heat sink for the oil well itself. All right, and I guess the final thing we need to do is make a gas filter because we have tons of other gases in here other than natural gas. Same old story. Same old story, different area. So let's go up here, uh, make our gas bridge out of abyssalite. Always remember to make your bridges out of abyssalite if you need to because it doesn't automatically switch it for you. Uh, actually, we're going to make our gas filter over here. Let's rotate that. So let's see, we're going to... Ventilation, gas pipe, abyssalite. We're going to go in. We're going to filter out the natural gas. And then everything else we can just send over here. So let me actually cancel some of this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Like, we'll be pumping out CO2 and polluted oxygen and everything like that. We can just pump it all down here. You know, this is just a waste area. Alright, let's see. What are we going to filter out? We're going to filter out natural gas. Okay, so... And those are unreachable builds. Let's expand our ladder network. I guess that should hopefully be... Fine, okay, yeah, that's good. So now we need to bring all this natural, this future natural gas to a natural gas generator. Burn off some of that gas. I guess we'll go straight up. All right, now this is where things get tricky. Ah, yes, this, this pipe here, we used to pump. Oh yeah, we're getting CO2 from this room here. What's going on with this thing? It's not in gas, we're out of algae, huh. Oh, man, that's kind of an issue. Since we're out of algae, we're no longer producing oxygen for our exosuit system. So we can get some algae, though. How is the base doing on oxygen? How is our... Overall, the base gas pressure is looking pretty good. We got... In fact, we're kind of overpressurized. That's a problem. So, uh... Because, yeah, like I've said, if this system gets backed up, that could result in huge issues if the gases intermix. I think we really just need to take on more duplicates, but I just don't feel like figuring that out at the moment. Okay, what I think I will do is I'm just going to take the main oxygen system and actually hook it into the exosuit system. And I think that makes a lot of sense because, I mean, the main reason why the base is getting overpressurized is because our duplicates are outside of the base a lot working in the exosuits. So they're not actually consuming the O2 in the base. So we should be okay if we just take that O2 and pipe it to our exosuits. Now, in the past, I've been reluctant to do this because, uh, you know, this is cold oxygen and it's kind of a waste to throw it into the exosuits. But we are living in times of abundance, so I think we can afford such a thing. All right, so yeah, if we, if we just go right down there, that'll hook into the system. And uh, so the oxygen will come from our main electrolyzer system into here, go to those exosuits, and of course, go up here to all the other exosuits. And then if we reactivate this pump there, it'll be the same damn thing, no issue. And it'll help relieve the pressure. And furthermore, it'll reoxygenate that suit, increasing our workforce, perfect. Excellent. Crisis has been averted, but this may lead to a very different crisis of not having enough O2 in the base. Right, so at this point we're just waiting for deliveries. How's our oil level going? We're at 300 kilograms. So, I mean, we could activate the pump now, but, you know, 500's a nice round number. Also divisible by 10. And 100. And 250. Okay, so we could pump our natural gas into this pre-existing generator, but I think I would like to make a, a new generator. Also, how's our power situation doing? We got plenty of power, even though we're not running the petroleum generator. 
We ha our coal backup system is not currently active. You know, it helps to have all the duplicates on their hamster wheels. And, of course, we have our hydrogen power. It's very nice. All right, well, the situation will get even better once we add in our second natural gas generator. Let's throw it right here. Heavy watt wires. We like the big ones, the big heavy watt wires. All right, so we have input pipe and output pipe. I guess that's all there is to it. If we want to be really fancy, we can replace all these tiles with mesh so the polluted water just drips down. And in fact, we can dig out all this, this junk down here. Let's dig all this out. Okay, looking good. I decided to keep this here because I like it. How's our ventilation overlay? So we're not getting any natural gas yet. I'm not sure what's to hold up. Oh, here it comes. All right, so that is operational. We've got some natural gas in the pipe at 85 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's very hot. And our filter is working perfectly. Yeah, this is, look at all that random junk. We got CO2, polluted oxygen, regular oxygen. Very important to have that filter in there. Eventually we'll be able to get rid of the filter once this environment is pure natural gas. Plants have died? What? That's no Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm tearing down all my thimble reed plants because I don't need them anymore. I mean, we can plant more later if we need them, but for now I think we'll be fine. Okay. So, yeah, we got our natural gas generator online. I'm not sure... I suspect, I haven't run the numbers, but I suspect this oil well will produce enough natural gas to run the uh, generator permanently. So that'll be a nice, cool 800 watts of power. And it's just in time, because we are now dipping into our emergency coal supplies. So with this natural gas generator, and the hydrogen, and idle duplicates on the wheels, we should have enough power that to, you know, to satisfy our needs. Hopefully, we won't even need to run our petroleum generator. I, I mean, realistically, though, we should actually set up a renewable source of coal using hatches and just run the coal generators instead, because, I mean, coal generators are actually pretty nice. Or, better yet, we can find a natural gas geyser. Yeah, this is perfect. Look how we got ton we got plenty of natural gas. And now we're pumping oil again. Small quantities of oil. I... Okay, I made some changes to my automation in here. So what I did is... So now when the hydro sensor activates, it's going to hit this buffer gate, which will then cause the liquid pump to be active for 60 seconds. I set the uh, buffer gate for 60 seconds, and the pressure threshold here to above 1,000 kilograms. So then when we hit 1,000 kilograms, this pump will activate for 60 seconds and pump oil to our refinery. And I'm doing this because what will happen is uh, otherwise, if this uh, sensor was hooked directly to the pump, the pump would activate, instantly drain a bit of oil, then the, uh, then the hydro sensor would, of course, deactivate the pump. So you just keep getting tons and tons of little packets of oil in the pipes, you know, like maybe three packets of 10 kilograms, and they go up to the refinery. They hit the refinery, a duplicate comes in here and works for a couple seconds and then leaves, which seems pretty inefficient. So now, when we hit 1,000 kilograms, we'll pump for a solid 60 seconds. That'll get give a ton of oil to the refinery, a duplicate can come and work for a while and then leave. And then of course, once we build up enough oil, we'll pump another 60 seconds worth of oil. And looking at our natural gas generator, we, we still have all this gas that we've built up in the pipes 
from the previous great pumping. And of course, we're almost at 75% threshold again. We're at 60%, so pretty soon we'll have a whole another mess of natural gas to pump over to our natural gas generator. So yeah, it works out pretty nicely. In the base, the O2 situation is still looking pretty good, despite the fact that we're rerouting a bunch of our O2 to the exosuit docks. Even, even, though, even though we're doing this reroute, you know, it's still getting... The exosuits are still getting backed up. So eventually, all of this is probably going to get backed up. We've acquired some algae, so this thing is running too. So yeah, it's a good way to uh, get rid of some of this O2 to prevent our base from becoming overpressurized. I mean, having too much oxygen can actually be a big problem. Not as bad as having too little oxygen, but, you know, still a big problem. Alright, we, we've hit 75% back pressure again. Unfortunately, we've already run out of natural gas going to our generator. We just ran out, so it's not quite 100% operational, but it's pretty close. So yeah, we got several thousand grams of natural gas in here, and we should probably do something about this airlock, because every time it opens, we lose some natural gas. But overall, I like it a lot. So that's pumping. It looks like we're going to hit a thousand kilograms pretty soon. We're at almost 800 kilograms. I definitely want to see what happens once this hits a thousand. I want to see how that works out. And we got a ton of junk here we can mop up. Oh, this is unfortunate. We need to put some more mesh tiles down here. Let's uh let's do something something cheeky, how about? Let's do this. Alright, that about does it. I mean this is such a convoluted way of getting my natural gas generator output uh polluted water output down here. Like, it follows this huge distance onto this thing, drips down here, through my petroleum generator room, and finally into our reservoir. But that's what I love about this game, is you can just make these ridiculous setups like that. So are we at a thousand kilograms yet? No. It's actually taking a while. I mean, this thing only does, uh, what? It takes... We get three kilograms of oil every second. In three seconds, we'll get ten kilograms of oil, which is one pump of a liquid pump. Okay, well, how about we just lower the pressure threshold to 800? Done and done. So, yeah, as you can see, the... The hydro sensor is already... The hydro sensor is still active. It's going to be active for quite some time. But eventually, it'll get below 800. Okay, yeah. Let's set it to, uh... 870. So now the hydro sensor has become deactivated. But our pump is still pumping because of our buffer gate. Perfect. Just as I wanted. And so now a sizable chunk of oil will hit the refinery all at once. And then a duplicate, some lucky duplicate, will have plenty of oil to process. Well, I've been watching this sensor like a hawk for a while now, and I've decided to... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I just built some tiles here to sort of corral the oil over here more so that we're not sort of like because the pressure take takes a long time to build up because we have this huge pool of oil we're trying to fill so i've decided just to uh shrink the pool as best i can because i mean there's no need to uh disperse this oil over this huge area and so now yeah we should fill up more quickly and we'll turn on the pump and it'll be good and we'll have this reserve pool of oil that we can use in an emergency if we need to well, I believe that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I always like reading and hearing your thoughts about everything. And I'll see you next time for more oxygen not included in the Rancher update.